Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Sex Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to adjust the HDR gain calibration for your TV display on your Xbox Series X. So press the Xbox button right here, open up the side menu, and go to My Games and Apps. Then go to See All, scroll line down to Apps, go to the right, and look for this little sun icon. This is HDR gain calibration right there. Go ahead and select it. And then go through this different screen. So you can go to next. It says uh, uh, calibration values are stored in the system. Games can choose to use this information to enhance their visual quality for your HDR TV. So let's go to uh, next. But it says uh, set your TV into game mode. So game mode is going to be a low latency mode. There's going to be less uh, delay between when you move your thumbstick and what appears on the screen. So make sure it's in game mode. So go to your TV settings. Use your remote and then find game mode somewhere. So yes, once we have that set up, it says set room lighting to match your normal gameplay environment. Display your TV's pictures uh, sharpening settings. So sh sharpening can cause unwanted outlines uh, around test pattern blocks. So go ahead and go to your uh, TV settings and just turn off any kind of sharpening you have. So my TV is a Amazon Fire TV. So I can go to picture right here and I have it in game mode. You can see game mode and then we can go to um, sharpening. We can find that under here and we can just turn that off. So as it under clarity settings. So we got sharpness right there. I can just turn this off. I got super resolution on action smoothing. I have that turned off. A lot of this stuff kind of hurts my eyes too, but let's go to next on Xbox. Then just go up and down with the D pad. So here's the D-pad, go up or down, and you can see the two squares on the right. So if you can barely see uh, the squares, it's good. If you can see the squares, it's bad. So go to the point where you can barely see it, use the right D-pad, and I don't know if you guys can see this, but I can barely see a checkered pattern at this point. So go to the right or the left D-pad, make it brighter or not brighter till you can barely see the checkered pattern. Go to the next, do the same thing with the lights. So here it is. Let's go. Okay, I'll make it very apparent for you guys. Now let's make it brighter. So for me, this is just about gone uh, right about here. So I can still kind of see them with my naked eye. And then here's the luminance. So let's do this one too. I can barely see it right about there. It doesn't actually completely go away from me. Then go to next and calibrate it or uncalibrated. Boom. And you should be good to go. So also adjust the color settings in your TV before you do this test. Get it all set up the way that you want. So just go to picture and you got you, like backlighting and stuff like that. Dynamic lighting. Turn off dynamic lighting. Probably don't need that. Brightness settings. So contrast, brightness, gamma. Just get everything set up the way that you typically play and then go through that screen. So I usually turn off all dynamic stuff. So there's no like small flickers and stuff in the background. Sometimes that hurts my eyes when I play uh, long duration. So I turn off all the enhanced features, etc. So the screen doesn't constantly keep adjusting brightness quick, like microseconds and that kind of thing just hurts your eyes. But hopefully this video did indeed help you out. Did leave it a big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.